Hi, I'm Laura Jones, and I'm a certified yoga therapist. And this is a case report about a woman I saw, a 38-year-old female. She had an eight-year history of infertility. She had fibroids removed with two myomectomies. She has ovarian cyst, uterine scarring, pain and clotting during menstruation. And she tried a couple of rounds of IVF. So when she came to me, her intention was to get pregnant and to improve her quality of sleep. During her assessment, she had lack of awareness to the lower abdominal pelvis area. And so she couldn't feel sensation and she wasn't very connected to any kind of sensations or energy. So each time we met, she committed to about 20 to 30 minutes pr of practice, and she did it relatively most, most of the days of the week, so maybe three to four, even five times a week. So what we did was we did mindful somatic movement really based on the lower abdomen area and creating energy and also with breathing practices such as just a simple belly breathing or three-part breath. We also worked on the yamas and niyamas ethical practices and she did some journaling about it. So two that we really focused on was contentment and surrender. And then we also did some meditation to target some difficult feelings of fear. She also had fear of her fibroids returning. And all of this we moved into surrender and acceptance and connection. So I wanted to point out after the, the during the first session she felt more openness and awareness. And during the second session, after she practiced her homework, she had improved quality of sleep and she noticed she had more energy during the day. And for the first time in four years, during her third session, she reported healthy menstruation, no more pain or clotting. And she still, to this day, has healthy menstruation. And also, she, when she went to her doctor's visit, about five months later, she still had no fibroids. And at, at that doctor's visit, she decided to delete her ovulation tracking app, which she started using when she began to conceive, which was in 2010. So eight years she was using this app, and she finally deleted it. So she also reported um, equanimity over the outcome. So every time she would get her period each month, she was OK with that. So she really came to a state of acceptance. And she was also able to pull from her yoga therapy tools um, when those feelings of fear or anger came up with her, which is really great. So thank you.